These are half millimeter sized helium filled soap bubbles and they will entirely fill this volume. We'll illuminate those with a laser light and as the car passes through those bubbles, they will move around in the wake of the vehicle and we'll use high speed cameras to capture how those bubbles move and therefore how the airflow also moves where those bubbles are. You guys can go over. The important part here is that this is the most realistic way of doing this kind of aerodynamic testing because it is in a, a real controlled environment. So that allows us to identify particular changes to vehicle geometry that we have made, for example, changing vehicle spoilers. This allows us a much better understanding of how that leads to a change in drag rather than just a different drag number from other more simple testing. PIV technology has been around for some years, but this particular application in this so-called ring of fire setup where we actually have the vehicle pass through the light sheet. Uh, that's different to where we're typically in a wind tunnel where the vehicle is static and the air flows over it. So that's really the unique thing here about using this technology in this very unique uh, test facility. So the data that we've gathered here is going to help us validate that new test procedure and that repeatability that we get from using a facility like this. We'll be able to use that repeatable data to validate CFD, so that's computational fluid dynamics simulations, and that allows us to understand where the sources of drag are coming from.